sweet potatoes, it is Michelle and today I'm bringing you a room tour. I completely redid my room from my last room tour. A lot of you are familiar with this background because this is where I usually film, but not a lot have seen the rest of my room, so I'm going to go in depth and show you what the rest of my room looks like, tell you where everything is from, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button to join our sweet potato family, and let's begin with the video. Okay, so this is my room and this is my door, and the first thing that you see is this macrame wall hanging which I got from TJ Maxx and it was I think $12.99 so this is an overview of my room we're gonna start on this side so moving on from the door behind it I don't have a lot of stuff it's mostly just junk I just have an extra table some like cardboard boxes my tripod a bucket full of coins and my ukulele so moving on from there is this section of my room this clock is from society 6 and I got it a few months ago and I did a haul with them and I really like it because it has the phases of the moon it's a silent clock too so it doesn't make any noise and I just like the simplicity of it and then moving down from that I have this little display shelf of a bunch of just I don't know random knickknacks and like plants and stuff and all the plants here are fake because I have tried taking care of real plants before and that was a complete fail so starting here I just have this little crystal it's I think amethyst I got this a long time ago when I was a little kid so I'm not sure where I got it from but I really like it it's really pretty and then next to it I have two candles this first one is passion fruit and sapot sapot I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it but it smells really really good if you like fruity tropical scents then this is amazing it's by the brand BNP which stands for bloom and prosper but I got this from Ross and I got three of them because it smells so good it's my favorite candle right now and then next to it I have my eucalyptus mint candle from Bath and Body Works it's pretty similar to the um, stress relief candle so my mom actually got me two of these and I love this one as well I've been burning it a lot recently the packaging is also super aesthetic in the back I have this fake plant and I like the planter I like the geometric details and the gold lining at the bottom and I got this from Ross for I think $9.99 yes $9.99 next to it I have this little air plant holder and I got this black stand from Etsy I think for $8 I got this little glass globe from I think my cousin she gave it to me as a gift for an air plant terrarium and it came with a real air plant but that died a while ago it's been empty for a while but I finally bought some fake air plants and this is from Amazon actually this is from Ross it came in like a pot with three different plants in it so it came with this one this one and this little one so I just plucked it all off of that one pot and put them in separate pots and then I have this like wooden plank thing it was actually a photo stand but I kind of just like took off the photo parts of it like the stand and the, the hook thingy I have this wire grid but it can't really balance stuff on top of it so I needed something that was completely flat in order for me to display all of the stuff now moving over we have my Canon FT QL camera this was my I think my grandpa's camera when he lived in Japan he used this and I think it's like over I don't know 40 years old and it doesn't work anymore because the mirror inside does not stay down and I don't know how to make it stay down I think I have to take it in to get fixed if I want to be able to use it again but that might take a long time or it might be really expensive so for now I'm just leaving it here for decoration purposes and back I have this little bonsai tree which I got from Ross and then next to it I I have these two little plants. I think I got this little glass pot from Kyle, my boyfriend. He gave this to me. And then I had this little like figurine. It's from Animal Crossing. I think it's it's Katie, the cat. So I decided to put her in here, give the plant a little friend. And then here I have a little light bulb terrarium type of thing, which I got at Daiso in Okinawa. And inside I just have a little wooden Totoro guy. And now for all of this, um, I got this wire shelving system from Amazon and it was really cheap I think it was like $25 it didn't come with the storage cubes though I bought those separately but I really wanted something that was sturdy that could hold a lot of weight per cube I think it can hold like 30 or 40 pounds per 
per cube which is really good and it's super easy to assemble it doesn't weigh a lot i will leave links to as many things as i can down in the description you can make it like different shapes too you can like stack it higher or you can like do like a three two and then one type of thing and then for all of my storage cubes i got two four six eight 10 12 i got 12 of these they're all from walmart and they were about six dollars each which is actually a really good deal and they're huge too these are i think i want to say like 12 or 13 inches by 15 inches so it does stick out a little bit but i think i still think it works so inside all of these cubes i just have random junk like literally so random games an old clock that broke in here i have like old books notebooks from school and stuff i have my microphone i have like snacks i think i have like makeup and like hair bands nail polishes sunglasses and this is like wires electronics and down here i don't even want to pull it out because it's so heavy but i have a bunch of like books some of this stuff is not even mine some of it is my mom's next to that is my tower fan and then behind it i just have it's really ugly i just have a bunch of wires a wire basket too that wire basket is from ross oh my god i, I still have the tag on it can you see yeah i need to get rid of that I, I was trying to like figure out how to hide all of these wires and stuff but still be able to you know access it easily but i have no idea what to do so if you have any suggestions for me please let me know so moving on here we have another shelving system i got this from target and i believe it was like 50 dollars, which is a really good price and each shelf holds a lot of weight too which again and I really needed that and it was really easy to assemble I did it by myself again you can like make it however tall or short that you want each of the shelves to be let me just start off with this little guy right here this is just a fake vine plant that we had lying around the house and I just like it because it adds a little bit more greenery and it kind of fills up this empty space right here so moving on next to it I have this little letter board which I got from Amazon and it says don't just sleep with your dreams wake up and chase them I kind of modified it because I saw a quote that Veronica Merrill posted on her Twitter and it said like you have two choices you can either sleep with your dreams or you can wake up and chase them and that was a little long so I just kind of shortened it with this quote and it's also cool because it lights up and this was only ten dollars from amazon so go snatch that up if you are looking for a cheap and cute letter board so again all of my cube storage boxes are from walmart but these two right here these are from ross and they were like six dollars i found them a while ago i want to say like over a year ago though i don't even know what i have in those two boxes um i really don't know but in here i have random very random stuff and here i have boxes just boxes <laughs> and here i have like camera stuff i have another old film camera that my friend's dad gave me and then i also have my polaroid camera i have a bunch of other camera equipment and stuff in here as well and then in here it's really unorganized and ugly <laughs> i have a lot of like shipping materials and then these are all just like random office material stuffs and then moving down here i just have like craft supplies yeah there's like construction paper glue and then in here i have my lights for when i film sometimes i don't have like a ring light i just use desk lamps <laughs> that's my lighting system and i have like other random stuff i have like party supplies in here too like if i ever need to throw a party and then down here i just have this round pillow cushion from society six it's really cute and i love this leaf print the only thing is it's so big i don't really know what to do with it i'm just using it right now to block this ugly plastic bin i just have a bunch of other storage bins in here i have no place else to put it and i'm just using this pillow literally to hide it so yeah that's what's happening okay so this is my window and these are my curtains and i got it on society six moving over this way we have my closet which is really gross and disgusting and i should have cleaned it before this video but here we are so my closet is really plain so i wanted to like make it a little bit cuter so i got these little like geometric hanging plant holders from amazon the plants are fake again they're also from amazon they look really fake especially this one it's like a lime green like i was not expecting that but they threw in a free succulent as well so 
that was nice of them and I can only put it on this door because it's a sliding door so if I put it on this one then it'll get jammed should I put some more down here like should I get two more for the bottom I don't know I couldn't really decide let me know what you think so I'm not gonna go in depth in my closet or anything I'll just show you a little peek um, it's really really messy <laughs> I got these these plastic drawers from Walmart. I believe they were like 13 they were either 13 or 17 dollars and I usually get my hangers from Ross. I love these like black velvet hangers. They're pretty cheap too. I think they come in a pack of 25 20 or 25 for 499 which is a really good deal. So that is my closet and here is my mirror. It's really dark right now. I'm so sorry about that. Here's a little OOTD if you were wondering. My top is from Jeans Warehouse and my shorts are from Brandy Melville and it's really hot so I put my hair in a bun. I'm also filming this on my Canon G7X. Hello there! Um, so my mirror right here is from Walmart and I love this gold trim and then down here I just have a white crate from Ross. I just needed something to lift the mirror up because it is pretty short and if I have it on the ground then yeah it's a little too short so I just wanted something to lift it up a little bit so I'm just using that and in it I just have like tapestries and my beach towel. I don't know where else to keep them so I just threw them in there and over here I'm not really a fan of this section um, it's not very aesthetically pleasing but I mean it's mostly for function so let me just start at the top I have a tissue box and then I have these little drawers that I got from Ross both of these right here they came separately and I just stacked this one on top of this one and this is where I keep all of my jewelry out here I have these two little bowls and I kind of DIY them to make them look like they're marble but it kind of failed. I think they're from Target. So in here I just have my most used earrings and then I have like bobby pins, hair ties, and other random stuff. And then I have this other little plant. It kind of looks like an aloe plant and I got this from TJ Maxx and I like the marble pot. It's fake of course. And I don't really use these drawers that much so I just put my plant over there. Then down here I just have like <laughs> a bunch of other jewelry. I labeled this one as like nice jewelry and then this one is just like junky like kind of play jewelry um so yeah i have that in there and then i have other like pouches and wallets and things like that in this one okay now moving on to this little tray that i have here these are like my most used like daily items so i have this cream which is for my eczema because i do have eczema so this is what my dermatologist gave to me and then i have my acne medication right here my spironolacto and i just put it in this little glass container that I found because it's cuter than the orange bottle that it comes in. Then here I have a little peach uh, moisturizer. I got this from Tony Moly. Let me see. So and it's really cute because it looks like a peach or it kind of looks like a... yeah I don't know I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Can it focus? Hello? So yeah it's from Tony Moly and it's the peach hand cream and it smells so good. It smells just like peaches and I love peaches. Next up I have my body spray which is the Sea Island Cotton which is from Bath & Body Works. And I bought this a long time ago so I'm just trying to like use it up. Then I have my deodorant which is the Dove Advanced Care Antiperspirant. And then this little tray I got from TJ Maxx. This table is also from Ross. And then down here is a complete mess but um, this is a bunch of clothes that I'm trying to sell right now. I sell my clothes on Poshmark, Vinted, Mercari, and on Instagram. I might make a Depop pretty soon. Let me know if you would be interested in that. But this is my purse that I use on a daily basis. I got this from Macy's and I had a Macy's gift card so that's why I bought it. The brand is Ink. It's good because it's like really big, holds my laptop, holds my 40 ounce hydro flask. It like holds my entire life in there so that's why I really like this bag. And then behind it I have this other little wire um, basket that I got from Ross and it matches those ones over there. In here I just keep my camera. Sometimes I just need to like grab it and go so I keep it next to my bag so I remember to take it with me. And then down here in this basket which is also from Ross I think this was six dollars and this was probably like five dollars. So in here I just keep a bunch of my bags so I have like tote bags, my 
a little backpack moving on from that i have this little area rug and it's from amazon i think it was like uh 20 dollars and it's the two by three foot rug the next size up from this was the four by six foot rug which would have been a little too big i think so i just went with the two by three rug and i think it's really cute i love the pattern on it and then this is my bed so i usually have my lights on but i'm not keeping my lights on right now because i can show you why see how it does this weird flickering thing on the camera like i don't know why it does that i'm really sorry if you're sensitive to light like that so i'm just gonna keep it off right now but this is my bed right here so let me just start off with tapestry i got this from amazon and it was pretty cheap i think it was less than 20 dollars i used to have a tapestry of banana palms hanging oh hello i didn't talk about this painting this artwork is from society six but yeah anyway i used to have a tapestry of some palm or like no bana banana leaves but i don't know i think i kind of like this tapestry better what do you guys think leave a comment down below so we have a bunch of pillows right here this is the pillow that i sleep on every day this is a pillow from society 6 as well as you can see and i really like the blue like shibori pattern shibori is like a tie-dyeing technique in japan next to it i have this yellow mustardy golden pillow from ross and then next to it i have an aloha pillow also from society 6 my blanket is also from society 6 it's really really soft it's a little bit too hot to use right now since it's still summer so i honestly just use it for decoration and then i actually use this it's actually a beach towel but i use it as a like blanket for when i sleep because it's really soft and this towel is from sand cloud and then i also have a bed skirt which is just plain white which i got from amazon and it was like six dollars as you saw i also had the lights hanging across and i'm not sure where i got those from i think it's from walmart and they're just like normal christmas lights and then here i have a bunch of polaroids hanging and I just have them up with these clothespins, which I also got from Walmart. Above my bed, I have this painting of a geisha, which I got from Society6. Next to it, I have this... Oh god, it looks so bad right now, but it's a DIY that I did a long time ago using yarn. I just wanted something to fill up that empty space right there, so I just stuck that there. Then I have another painting, or not a painting, but like another art piece it's also from society 6 featuring a store in japan called yodobashi camera it's like a camera electronic store so finally here is my desk and i recently redid my desk because it used to be a much darker wood but i got contact paper from walmart for i think i think it was like six dollars for a huge roll of I think it goes a lot better with my room than the dark wood. So I do like this desk because I got it at Target and it was, I want to say it was like $50, which is really good for a desk because I was looking all over and they were all super expensive. And it even has a really large um, drawer right in here, which is super duper messy, but it it is pretty deep and it holds a lot of stuff. So I just have like stationary, but I think it looks so good. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of like the silver leather eggs that it has here but like whatever it's fine so let me just start here this is my calendar which i got from tj maxx for like five dollars it's really cute because it has like this marble type of design with the gold outlining and that's how all of the months are and then here i just have some like notes and i like tape them to the wall with this gold washi tape which i got from daiso here i have this little cactus neon light which is also from macy's and i think it was like 17 dollars and it was on sale and then here i just have this little pen holder that's what i'm using it for at least and i got this from target i do use a mason jar as my water bottle because it holds a lot of water and i drink a lot of water throughout the day and i keep it on this little coaster so i have this coaster and it came in a pack of four from tj maxx and i got it for five dollars and i like the octagon shape and then moving on to the rest of my desk i have my laptop with my mouse pad and my mouse which i got from amazon and it's really quiet so if you're looking for a quiet mouse then this is perfect and then i have this folder organizer i just have a bunch of like folders important documents and things and i got this from target and it has this like rose gold detail on the side over there and i also got this clear clipboard from target in the dollar section 
and all of my like folder files and stuff are also from Target. And then I have my headband. I like to keep my my hair out of my face. And then I also hang my keys up here just to make it easier for me. My chair is from Walmart. I think it was like $40, which is pretty good for a chair. It has a mesh back so your back doesn't get all like hot and like sweaty and stuff. And over here on the side, I have my power strip. So I stuck it onto the leg of my table using command strips. So I just have two of them and then I just stuck it on there so that it's easier for me to like access. I don't need to bend all the way, all the way down to the floor. Floor. This thingy is like one of those things where you can like attach your phone to it I would clip it here and then it'll just like hold your phone You can watch videos on your phone hands-free <laughs> So I bought this and it's actually pretty good I used it a few times and I like to like watch videos before I fall asleep And it's really good for that because I can just watch without having to hold my phone It was super cheap like six dollars If I'm not using it, I'll just clip it down here and then over here here, I actually really love this. So I have this little cord organizer thing that I just got from Amazon. So it looks like that. It came in a pack of like 10 of these or something for like $6. They have ones that are longer that can hold like four or five different cords. So I just keep my laptop charger there and also my phone charger. It makes it really easy to access them. Down here I just have my trash can because I don't know where else to put it. And that is the end of my room tour you guys. Thank Thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope the lighting wasn't too bad in this video i know it was going in and out but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments okay you guys so that is the end of my room tour i hope you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up if you did and be sure to comment down below what you thought of my room while you're down there also be sure to subscribe and check me out on my social medias and i will see you guys in my next video bye